Hello students. Welcome to the training module on how to fill OMR sheets correctly. As you will be filling OMR sheets for the first time, you need to have complete knowledge about filling the OMR sheets. So watch this video very carefully as it explains the entire process in detail. Section 1. Points to remember while filling the OMR sheet. All your details like your roll number, name, etc will be pre-filled in the OMR. You have to write the question paper code that is written in the question paper on the upper right corner of the OMR sheet in the space provided for the same. Then write the statement, I confirm that all particulars given above are correct in your handwriting in the space provided in this box and sign here in running handwriting. Only use a blue or black ballpoint pen for filling any information in the OMR sheet and also for giving responses. Use of pencil is strictly prohibited. If it is found that you have used the pencil for filling OMR, this will be considered as the use of unfair means. An action will be taken against the candidate as per the unfair means rules. Section 2. Points to remember while filling responses in the OMR sheet. There will be space for answering 60 questions in the OMR irrespective of the total questions given in the question papers of any subject. You need to fill responses, that is, darken the correct circles only for the number of questions asked in the question paper in correct serial order. Answers given after the maximum question number in the question paper will not be evaluated. For example, if there are 45 questions in a question paper, then any response given in the OMR sheet from question number 46 to 60 will not be evaluated. For giving a response, four circles, that is, A, B, C and D are given in front of each question in a row. You have to darken the correct response circle with a pen. Immediately, to the right of the four circles, a box is given. You have to write the correct option in this box that is A or B or C or D as the answer. Again, immediately to the right of the box, a circle is given inside which the question number is written. This circle is to be darkened by you if you do not want to attempt that question. You are advised to first mark the response by darkening the circle. If you are fully satisfied that your answer is correct, only then write the response in the box. The purpose of giving a box is only that, if you wish to change your response, you can write the new response in the box. Even if you are satisfied with darkening the circle, this response has to be written in the box. You have to fill your responses both in the circle and in the box. Please note the following very carefully. If the response in the circle does not match with the response filled in the box, the response written in the box will be treated as final. If the box is empty and the response is marked in the circle, it will be considered that the question has not been attempted by the candidate. If a response is given in a box and the circle is left blank, it will be considered that the question has been attempted by the candidate. If all the three, that is, four circles, box and last circle are left blank, it will be considered that the question has not been attempted by the candidate. If all the three, that is, four circles, box and last circle are filled, it will be considered that the question has not been attempted by the candidate. With this, we hope that you all got a thorough understanding on filling the OMR sheets. Thank you for watching this and all the best for your exams.